Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3, and in the last episode we had a miraculous turn of events when our Franklin badge, originally given to us by our father via uh, Nippolite, it was a Kurds badge, and this percentage turned into the Franklin badge that saved us and enables to be the mass man, which enables us to pull this needle, so here we go. <sighs> what a mouthful. Jeez. The Chupi Chupi Oi needle is ours. It was our Majesty ancestors who sealed away the Dark Dragon. Majesty's regarded the seven needles for many generations since. Don't interrupt me. Okay, what? But the needles will be pulled when the time comes, and that time is now. The heart of the person who pulls the needles will be passed on to the Dark Dragon. And then something big will happen. Something big enough to recreate the entire world. Lucas, I want you to be the one who awakens the Dark Dragon. To accomplish this, you can't lose or give in, no matter what. Duster. Bony. And Princess Kumatora. Jeez, I forgot she was a princess. Yeah. Without heartfelt help from you and his friends, he cannot accomplish this task. Princess Kumatora, this PSI is so dangerous that I have never intended to teach it to you, but I'm going to teach it to you right here, right now. This sounds bad. Master this dangerous PSI technique so that you can help Lucas. Are you prepared? Yeah, I'd say she's prepared. Great, now Kumatora's gonna get the royal treatment here. Oh! Ah! Oh, what have you done? Ionia, I thought you were... Wait, what? Something awoke inside Kumatora. Oh, she's pregnant? No, she's got Starstorm! PK Starstorm. No, it's not Lucas that uses Starstorm like you might see in Brawl. I don't know if he uses it in Brawl or not, but anyway. But I think he does. Thanks for the pickles earlier. The dog drool was a bit disconcerting, though. <laughs> yeah, I bet it was. Are you okay? That mask man, was he... Oh, well, it doesn't matter. There they go again. Was he... Ha ha ha. Or, uh... <laughs> Lucas, I'm going to help you from here on out, no matter what happens. I've made up my mind just now. Just now? Uh, what have you been doing all this time? Okay. Yeah, alright. So finally, we're gonna pull the needle. Here we go. No, I don't wanna pull the needle. What are you doing, you big dummy? What? What are you... What are you call who are you calling a dummy? Let me try that again. No. Oh, you're just gonna keep calling me a dummy until I pull it, huh? Okay, fine. You pull the fucking thing. Here we go. No, sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. That's three and three. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nothing's gonna stop us now. We beat him once, and we can do it again and get that fourth needle. Or should I say the seventh needle? Locria's needle, I guess, since Locria's the missing magic sea, which we haven't heard much about. But, I guess she's the one that's guarding the last needle. We gotta find out what's going on there. Boing, 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 boing. And from here, Lucas learns a spell that's just about as powerful as Starstorm. PK Love Omega. Hell yeah. As I start to disappear, my heart senses an intense disturbance. Locria, the final missing magic sea, is rapidly nearing the seventh needle. That's what I'm sensing. It's coming from that direction. From a lively, filthy place. Oh, just when I'm about to tell where it is. Ah! Uh... Well, tell us. I'm sorry, I'm disappearing now. Before I go, we hear a final memento to me, a razor and lipstick. Remember me sometimes, okay? Well, you had time to tell me all about the razor and lipstick, but you couldn't tell me what was so important? Okay, fine. It's too bad I didn't get to see how everything turns out, but... Lucas, honey... What, darling? Little pony. Adorable Duster. And Princess Kumatora. Whatever happens, make sure you get to see what the final fate of the world is. Goodbye. And that's it for Ionia. Oh! Locria is nearing the seventh needle! Elora Danon must survive! She must bring about the downfall of Queen Babmorda, whose power grows ever strong. Sorry. I'm just referencing something that probably nobody's seen. Uh-oh. What's that music? Well, things just got happy around here all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Just makes you want to snap your fingers and get up and put on a zoot suit and start... What? Where did this frog come from? Well, the only time you ever see these frogs is when you're going from one chapter to the next. Well, guess what? That's the end of chapter 7. So, no, we're done. No, we're not done, actually. We're just going to go into the next video. The next chapter, I mean, in this video. You know what I mean. So, with our newfound PSI powers, we head into 
the last area of the game. Can you believe it? Can you believe we're almost done with this? Oh god. Master Lucas, yes? Our great leader and new king of the entire world, Master Porky, cordially invites you to the greatest city in the world, New Pork City. I will take you there in the stretch limousine, so please step inside. No. Where Master Porky is concerned, there is no no. So what will you do? You will get inside, won't you? No. Uh, fine. You wanna be a bitch about it? So he walks all the way around the car while we stand here and just watch. What do you think the W stands for? It's pink. Of course, I have to walk all the way around. Yeah, you go, Kumator, you tell that asshole. Anyway, get the cursor off the screen, silly. Wow. So we get to ride in a limo, cool. Anybody ever ridden a limo before? I rode in a limo once when my dad got married in 2003 to the girl he's with now. And I think it's the only time I've ever ridden in one, but I got a picture, an excellent picture while I was in it. So, I have to show that picture sometime. I don't know if I still have it around here. It might be on my fridge. It might be that one hanging that I can't see there. Anyway, stop looking at your fridge and let's watch the game for a minute here. Oh, goodness. It's a... It's a flying limo. It's a... They've gone to plaid! No, okay. What do you think? It's much more spacious than it appears on the outside, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, damn straight. We'll arrive at Newport City shortly, so please relax and enjoy yourselves for a while. Hmm. Okay, what do we got here? Stage? Looks like you could sing a song from it, but you can't even get on it. Well, maybe Duster can get on it. What do we got here? Grown-up drinks are lined up here. It's spicy, bitter, yucky poison, so kids can't drink it. Oh wait, grown-ups can't drink it either. Ha ha. Tabletop game. Looks like you can play it, but you can't. Hmm. A nine-foot billiard table. The pockets have been designed to be quite large. It looks like you can play it, but you can't. Well, is there anything we can do around here? Yeah, we can soak in the hot spring. This is a tiny-ass hot spring. There ain't no room in here, man. <laughs> Harrison Ford could kill you in this thing. Too cold, huh? God, the movie references are just abounding in my mind as I explore this area. Grown-up drinks are lined up here. We heard that already. Hmm. Man, how many drinks have they got on this place? We got some blackjack here. Well, I want to play. Oh, what is this? The Twinkie Tower? Champagne Tower. Actually, upon closer inspection, it's only a painting. What? A painting? Okay. A chandelier. I don't think we can look at that. Can't get out. Wow, we really are trapped. We're going to Newport City. We're not moving there, you know. We're just, you know, going to get the last needle. Will you? Yeah, let's relax on the sofa. Do do do. do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're being taken in by the hypnotic powers of the pork mobile. That's rather scary. What is this feeling? It's pleasure. Pleasure, 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 pleasure. Yet another movie reference. Save Frog has a save. So I think you can go up here and sit in the driver's seat if you want to. Would you like to sit in the passenger seat? In the passenger seat, yeah, that's what I meant. Watch out, I'll side seat drive. <laughs> yes, there it is. Say hello to New Pork City. Uh-oh. Whoa. It's Mega Man 2, dude. But it's backwards. Spikes coming out. Like, what are they afraid? Uh, actually, that's not a bad form of security, you know, at least you don't know planes that fly into it. Never mind. Man. Those are some huge ass dragon statues. Wait, let me guess. They come to life. Oh, wouldn't that be cool? No, they, actually, they don't. Viking. No. Vikings suck. No, I'm just kidding. No offense to any Vikings fans out there. I'm just. We, we always call them the Vi-Queens, actually. But being a Lions fan, I can't really speak because the Lions pretty much suck more than anybody ever has right now. And that's depressing, so I'm not going to talk about it. Chapter 8, All Things. What's the rest of that sentence? All things come to an end, probably. Or all things in time, could be. And we land on the little pig mask landing pad here. Now, when I first got here, like, I had the hardest time figuring out what the hell I was supposed to do first. It's like, 
I found the moon. Well, I'll talk about it when I get there because I'm running out of time, but hopefully we can find a good place to stop here in the next 30 seconds or so. Well, we finally arrived. Please watch your step as you exit the car. You haven't forgotten anything, have you? Yeah. Actually, I have. I forgot my sanity or something. Seeing as this is your first time here, I'll give you this map of the city so you don't get lost. Yay. Got a city map! <coughs> well then, Master Lucas. I'm sure I'll see you again, with a different look. What? Since when am I a master? Master Lucas? What? How do you know that I'm the master? WHO'S THE MASTER?! Okay, I need to go ahead and stop here, so, um... We're gonna watch the limo take off, and that'll be the end of this video. Next time on Mother 3, we will take a look at New Polk City. And, uh... See if we can figure out what to do next. So, bye now.